Yo, welcome to Checkpoint 4. We are here, Concrete in Shoreditch. We have Mitch, the ultimate main event of the day. It is the official Don't Flop title match. Please, one more time in the venue, make some noise for Don't Flop. Yeah. up on the social medias, they're all on the screen right about now. A couple of shout outs, shouts out to Mary Jane UK, you see me rocking it right about now. If you fancy the snapback, please go on don'tflopshop.com, the link's on the screen. Also, huge shouts to Camden Brewery for sponsoring this event, and of course, shouts to Concrete Space in East London for having us out. Okay, straight into it, this is the once only a year happening annual title match. No idea why I worded it like that. It's gonna be great. First MC on the right hand side, as we introduce always, he is the challenger, an absolute beast in the ring. My man shocks the room. Yeah. On the left hand side, on the left hand side, the second Scottish battle rap veteran on the stage this day. Also a crazy lyricist, one of the best and oldest battlers in Don't Flop. My man Soul makes yeah. some I'm sure without a doubt, without even knowing any of their bars or hearing any of them spit, this is going to be a highly contested match. So please make sure you tweet us all your opinions. Make sure you join the Facebook Viewpoint Don't Flop Battle Rap Forum and drop all your opinions on this clash. And one last thing, shout out to everybody that supports Don't Flop and buys the pay-per-views. Because without anybody buying the pay-per-views and comes to the events, we couldn't do this shit. So thank you very much. All right. Uh, Shocks, as he's a challenger, is of course up first. We have seven judges, seven very good and very unbiased judges. <laughs> Whatever you want. Checkpoint four, the final battle of the day. Yeah, oh, shot Let's get straight to it. I am ready to walk in your shoes, bro. I mean, there's doubts in their minds, you know, but today I came to remove those because their brains are wrestling with whether I can undertake a match like this. Give them a true show, but I earned you on the way to the ring, and this shit gonna end with a tombstone, boy. I'm yeah. I'm too cold. Three rounds with flame in this clown. There'll be a shift in the boss of your wigs coming off. Either way, I'm taking your crown to get to breaking me down for the street talk. For this one, I'm putting down those flames. You're still gonna kneel. My arm's strong, cause stepping on that rock made me a household name. <laughs> It's a shame what I'm doing. You'll say Soul was shaking, he couldn't handle it. When shocks got at him, Soul was taken. If making strings are one bar, multi punches makes you special, I'm a freak show, I control the mob. Gambinos, he knows, my name followed by Green. CeeLo, I catch cases on rotation. Heathrow, cross the line and get voided. Three throw, two legends, got heat covered. De Niro on Pacino for giving me the. <laughs> Two legends got heat covered. De Niro and Pacino for giving me the boss. I have to leave his shit looking like Debo. Because I, I finally caught up with this virgin like Tivo. That shit ain't hard. That shit ain't hard. Like that punch you swung when Jefferson lost face. Still, you got banned from the league because violence on stage is something a boss hates. But then you came back and became champ. It's like they gave you a hot plate. You let this gas trick bypass the bank because you couldn't stomach the lost way. And I came to flame on son. You know once the son of Sam Cook, a change gon' come. Oh. Oh. I'll be for ten months, baby. It's over, you. <laughs> <laughs> You don't really do what a champ is supposed to do. So this right here, Mark Wahlberg premiere. Yeah, they clap for the shooter. Last time I was entertained by a great Scott. Watch Back to the Future. Do your work. Cause you bitched out on Tony. You ain't earning this shit in the least. You're like Hank McQuay. Cause your daddy had to plant a seed to turn you into a beast. I mean, your first three years battling. Your first three years battling. Nobody fucked with you. I ain't even been battling three years, and I'm still in front of you. That was my day. Day one mandate, don the apron, then put one on a knuckle like a mason's handshake. With you. <laughs> You're more emo than the man Drake, but my whole. <laughs> 
But my whole campfire, so raise a toast. I've been spitting flames over bread to put this target on the wings. I had to spit fire that went plain overhead, then mm. drop bombs to spin my ally on his axis. Cause this chopping block made for your head, Jed. So you can see how sharp my axe is, cause execution is everything. My punch count, Shakespeare's. What I've done can murder a Scott. It's nothing to kill the king. <laughs> Since you want to play with a curse, I'm going to hit hard with those. The moral of the story? Well, you should have been careful which craft you chose, so go ahead. What the fuck? Why? Go ahead. Pretend to be clever. Spit your phony verse with flair. Tell them how you're going to storm the beach of Normandy in 43 and be the only person there. Right? <laughs> No, I know. You're gonna say I fucked up the hangman reference? Like it was poor and it was shoddy. But efficient killers don't waste time drawing on a body. Should <laughs> probably mention seventh birthday. On stage you lost it, soldier. You look drained, cleaned out, didn't deserve to serve caustic soda. Your career went so far. <laughs> then soon as you acted gang star, caught more hate than solar. <laughs> <laughs> All those robberies you got away with just to die asking for smoke like Omar, those oh. bars in Those bars ain't something. Yo, those bars ain't something I speak for your respect. Let's see how much you love the wire when it's twisted round your neck. Yeah. I need this. My end game, let's go. I'll pay a younger of 50 to slash your throat. That's a fucking death note, so let's go. Just know I don't spit the street shit to diss you. It's because I got a photographic memory, so as an artist, I can only draw from what I've been through. Mm. Now, now it's your time to die. You got an animal in your boat. Life a pie, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> So it's your time to die. You got an animal in your boat. Life of pie, I'm trying to leave behind a life of crime. I guess it's one good deed for another because the title was mine. Mm. Fuck off. Let's go. Yo, he said I don't do what champion's supposed to do. That's good. Don't even try it, bro. What? Rinse every contender till they have to scrape the barrel to find me one. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, Don Flop? Yo. Yeah. There's some shit we need to get addressed. Yeah. Yeah. About my third title match and the level set for the next contention. Shit, I've been defending against these plebs and every weapon that gets to step and saying they next up till they get crushed. Shit, you better tell them. I write a madness, the pad is reminded, the pen is sectioned. Psychiatrists have to wake it up inside like Evanescence. Oh. Oh. Is this guy till they get rejected, then forget them quick as my 27 level setting steps to get my rep to legend? Never mentioned in any sentence with the any henchman, ten a penny, beggy cretin. URL clones with less aggression, thick sucking, roster filling, petty yes men, flavor of the month, one trick pony, co main event, and peasant. <laughs> Ascension, then Jack can damn him, and you can know that the road to hell is paved with the best intentions. Yeah. Let me simplify. Getting this shot must be dead depressing. It's more a compliment to my dominance that you got the shot without any question. Yeah. Ah. Without any question. No fans upset. No debates. No ifs. No ands, buts. Yeah. Because I've rinsed the whole roster out that had some threat. You ain't the next one up. You're just the last one. Yeah. Yeah. No ands, buts, yeah. 
Cause I've raised the whole roster as I had some threat You ain't the next one up, you just the last, last one left! The upper half of middle, he already know what theory and he barely hopes he'll make it close I can't take him serious, if he shocks then you're thunder Cause I'm definitely seeing him in the noise you make will let us know how far away from me oh. he is. <laughs> behind me. They think he went Bruce Lee on dude cause you rely on wordplay. I gas him up by speaking truth. You don't, you supply the ticket link. I supply the reason to. They wonder he can even win. They wonder can I even lose. This is the only thing he's ever done or ever will to get decent views. I'll get a better offer than this in a week or two. This hands down, no question, the best battle that he will do. So how's it getting peak for me cause this is the peak for you. <laughs> Inspiration, I got writer's block. Mm. When he battles against his inspiration, it's this title shot. <laughs> Talk about my dying dog. It's hardly that deep. Plus, I doubt they're stupid enough to bite when you bark up that tree. Yeah. But when my sons become stars, when I depart from the scene, no, that's the only thing similar to Marley and me. Mm. Shit, you stop based on a forum. A bandwagon that shuffles your ears in an echo chamber, your ego trapped in a bubble. I'll expose what he's written. His average and muddled, that jewel shocks when it's vibrated in his pad getting rumbled. Oh. Your, your biggest accomplishment, your biggest accomplishment is nearly beating Tony Lad. They judge me off my wins, not the wins that I almost had. Ah. Small room battle. Had to whip out the death note for the physical embodiment of the fiddler's elbow But you put him on a big stage, he's boring as fuck You got this battle off a loss, him and Tony was judged And I ain't saying you don't deserve your shot, that would be totally nuts I'm saying you only deserve your shot, because nobody does So it's Frankenstein's lab design, right? Mm. If you're gonna wrap a line like that, do it properly <laughs> Putting shook through a bar was enlightening, but now you're giving life to a body. I watched you spit this shit. I watched you spit this shit, like. This boy is all too clever. Then you got to the next, next word player and went out on a limb to stitch it all together. So let me pick him up. So let me pick him apart. I watched you destroy Rapture, like. Oh, that's hard. But you did it in London. I guess bro lacks heart. Cause like honey, I shrunk the kids, I made him fear the big man in his own backyard. Aye. Aye. <laughs> so stop faking your heart. If I let a glass go, kiss goodbye to your face in a bar. I'll leave you painfully scarred and change your whole view of London when your eye takes in a shard. Aye. Wow. I ain't caustic in a fight scrap, I'll fight back. <laughs> And get bell later. You can get a boot in your grill, tailgate, or a box sole on a hellraiser. Watch him try to lay shots on the counter like your cell tasers, cave your eyes socket. Cold factors in my jeans, the Levi's twisted when I throw back a whole weight. Oh, a whole weight off the shoulder, bro. No strap. I've been running out the blue like the cold tap. Hold that, in here. <laughs> I'm raising help, so pray for help. Before I leave you with so much fucking brain damage, you won't know how to behave yourself. <laughs> Rowan did you dirty. <laughs> you pictured death on the card, like how that tarot go. You got so much shade from sun, you should be feeling parasol. Now you have to go. <laughs> But they can live with it. See, your punchlines are weak. They're just delivered slick. It's the flow that carries soul like the river sticks. I'm a flip the stick. Who's that saga shit? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Let's talk about how insecure this country is. You reference the UFC every battle, but the comparisons lack any substance. Because you defend before we can attack every time. It's where it's crutches. Just like the octagon on cam, we can see the fence behind the punches. <laughs> In between battles, you just sit at home alone playing Hearthstone like it's a cold hobby. <laughs> Crying yourself to sleep at night because your social life is so shoddy, but that's why you chose the name Soul, innit? Because you got nobody. <laughs> even, took, even took up online poker with a chat room just to have someone there and break up the monotonous choice of solitaire or wash his hair and not his hair. <laughs> That's why the generic old man shit ain't got me scared with both these. <laughs> Just playing the cards we were dealt, but they're blind to the fact you're going all in because it's hard to tell. Again, see, you mentioned Blizz and Gris, like without them, he wouldn't have done half as well. Which proves you're just jealous of everyone that's blue like Gargamel with on half the world. Oh! Papa Smurf. They don't harbor well with the fans. They love the fact that you write love, but when I want to hear your voice off stage, it's like your mic's off, because you just do it over a check, like a night top, like a right off a feet. I don't need to lie over a check. Whether or not I'm paid in full, Mitchell die in the end. That's fire. Especially when I quote this next line that he said. <laughs> Against Will Bill, you said. I own this guy, don't this guy. I'm not about to let a teacher take away my golden time. Fucking wait a minute. Yeah. Run it back around and hold it, right? Did you tell a crowd full of dudes you were gonna dome a guy? We even thought that. In the middle of a scheme about having the coldest fight, like I won't just lie, that's some suspect shit. Whoever taught you to fight is fucking sick. What you <laughs> Jab a left, hook a right, snuff him quick, then pin him down and suck his dick. You were just a tick on your sensei's bucket list. When he said throw two punches for every one he throw, that's the ratio, and then put him in a submission position and finish him off with fellatio. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Look, it ain't really my thing to make a joke. I'm just showing you I got gold on every level like a stately home. So, mate, let's go. <laughs> call me Fig. Just know they ain't taking the heart off of me yet. But drop me out with all the smack talk, man. Thing. You can't copy respect. <laughs> if I want it just dead for real, it's easy. Roll up three grand in fifties with my team in the whip. Stuff it in the barrels of two shutties. Hand them clean to the clip. Tell them Jeff, you peeing for kicks if you being a prick. It means make him vanish from the scene. as 3G in the sticks. Fuck <laughs> off. Yo, so this December, Chuck's a psychologist, <laughs> aka fucking Dr. Dimwit, <laughs> said if you're feeling lonely at the holidays, oh, <laughs> and you want it, if you're feeling lonely at the holidays, and you're gonna do something stupid, well, I bought a sim. You all can ring. I'm here to talk and listen. <laughs> Bro. What do you think is on the wish list? Oh yeah, because there's nothing that's going to make me want to not kill myself. <laughs> like talking to sharks on Christmas. <laughs> and the wife left. <laughs> the wife left me. The kids have got. It's just, it's just hot air, bro. Yeah, yeah, say not until we want to use bars cuts. <laughs> Yo, they're playing. Hmm. What can kill me quickest? That's the <laughs> Fucking slashing at the wrists while they're hanging from a bridge. And with the hand that they're cutting, they got a strap up to their wig. <laughs> More death on his sims than a psychopathic kid. Oh! Yo, everyone that wow. called you with depression are in bags, or were obsessive little fans just pretending to be sad. <laughs> <laughs>
Everyone that called you with depression are in bags. Or were obsessive little fans just pretending to be sad. Except one. The wrong number. <laughs> wrong, wrong number. He's just trying to ring and get food. Spent two minutes on the phone and he killed himself! <laughs> Imagine, you ring him up, feeling so suicidal, he sends you a ticket link, like, could be worse cause I'm battling so for the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're battling so for the title. <laughs> you should have mentioned something, right? Oh, no, oh fuck. No, you did mention it. 700 times! <laughs> Big man, you were so excited for this. It was ridiculous to see. 36 years old. Like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Scrunching up his throwaways. Stick him on a tree. <laughs> Could have sworn he heard a Don DeMarco by the window just to see <laughs> Yo. Yo. Man, he's all excited about a title match, like, let's get busy. Because he's 36, trapping in a dead end, isn't he? Since he got points on the snow, you a big friend sissy. You see, Shocks is just a hole. The SX tricky. <laughs> Say that you've been playing the Yo. Say that you've been Ouch. grinding every match I've done lately It sent him off the rails, watch his backside 180 This class might mm. come crazy, thinking this is a test He'll slide down the poles till he's 50-50 at best mm. Hope you didn't bring your gun bars Yo, hope you didn't bring your gun bars to then test your penmanship We best friends forever, this what Red Dead Redemption did mm. Hacksaw saw Jim dog his best ever entrances Facing the plank Whoa. on some Ed, Ed and Eddie shit yeah. yeah. Facing the plank, you've been sent as the drowning lad for your mutiny. The crew with me, never all crown or champ. That's what rebels do. Arse told, never be doubting that. He a rebel without a cause, you a rebel without a chance. Mm. Well, I don't have guns. That's just the sound of my raps, bruv. Spit these bars, they slash tongues and collapse lungs. I don't need a strap tuck. I'll just put a grand up and watch the look on his face change with a bag on his head like Mardon. I'm mm. <laughs> I give a fuck if the dude a trapper, cause he getting tired of it, that's a proven factor. Tweeting, I need a job, this is getting old. What a stupid wanker, the rebel flagging in the hood like the Duke's a hazard. I'll put him through the rafters. You can never be the champ, you just reach the front of the queue, I'ma send him to the back. But in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man can start raining. The two-eyed man sees through it, ain't partaking. The bird's eye showing the kingdoms they aren't saying. And my third eye open, they thinking I'm stark raving, more like a <laughs> Thinking I'm Stark Raven, nah, I'm Carl Sagan with this pen, bruh. Mm. Fuck the makings of a star, I see my next son. But they went twice at the fiddlers like they next up. And make them think they have a chance in hell. Till they get one. Mm. This round's gonna be a little different. Punch for punch, I already proved I can walk with him. What I need you to do is listen close, come walk with me while I talk to him. Jed, your pen is truly lethal. The stupid people don't think I can play my part two like a movie sequel. So this round they give you bar on top of bar just to prove we're equal. Cause your name hold weight. Come on, bro. Cause your name hold weight. So I had to calculate how to move you. I watched many a rapper damn near lose their mind trying to chew you, but they skirted around. So I'm putting my rhymes through you. What good's a 30 centimeter to the side of the ruler? You know what's a foot. You know what's a foot. You couldn't measure my traction properly. All you do is pick an angle then multi. That's why the gassing never bothered me. Bringing two elements to the table only gets reaction periodically. Yeah! Reaction periodically, you follow me, you lack chemistry, it's physically something in your biology, that's why I'm breaking you down to a science. Your career will never go full circle with angles of your reliance, let's cut to the chase. Fool's birthday, you said the course that got slapped up because he exposed your friend on stage and they got your back on. 
You said there was no place for that shit in battling. That's kind of mad, bro. Didn't you get the biggest reaction in your life exposing rap? Did you fucking hit oh. I thought you wrote more. How are you still using the name Soul when you sold yours? You hold more than that in your pen. But it seems your heart ain't letting you back it. He don't walk the walkie-talkie, took it too far, now all he's getting is stuck. <laughs> Make sure punches with added weight were used to ensure that you bodied him. But that's just added weight for you to ensure that your body sinks. I'm writing them off. While you witness intimidation, just fucking lie in the box. They never thought we'd be clashing. And you're awkward and catching. Yo! While you witness intimidation, just fucking lie in the box. They never thought we'd be clashing. Now you're awkwardly catching bars that send scrubs to the hospital in orderly fashion. <laughs> I told them, when we come together, I'm live. I make it matter, underground, like a hadron collider. Get me with <laughs> I make it matter. Underground like a hadron collider. Get me with your Nestle throwaways. My pad's on fire. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny training days got me here, as you mentioned. Because <laughs> I watched you a blackout, my G, and after a little snoop dog, your pen bought the crack out of me. <laughs> but you love to read, right? Well, read my lips, pussy. You are dead soft. I will fold your corner. Then when I come back, we can pick up where we left off. I came to remove the thing. Fuck going back and forth in a circle like a hula hoop. Every one of your lines on a block twisted like a Rubik's Cube. You stand there. You stand there and talk about my life underhanded because you won't leave your fucking house so you don't understand it. Where I'm from, trust and hope is earned. But I know you can't trust a soul in a city where the dope gets burned. I mean, friends and enemies switch sides. That's a trope I learned. It's like as soon as they enter a sketch of a suspect, both sides turn and get a big oh. Oh. Shit gets violent after them. Bullets go invest in a low to keep them silent, partner. It's funny. <laughs> and it's funny, because the same cunts who call me fake when they spit rounds will be the same ones that holler for flake when they're in town. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And then he gave up. Grip the razor like quit the BS or one push a disc in your front like a PS4. What? My mind is raw, but we live different lives. For instance, when your dog died, you shed tears slumping in your drum. My dog died, I had to shed tears while I was comforting his mom. These days you're concerned with getting head or some tail or spitting lines with your boys. I'm more concerned with heads telling tales. It's different side to the coin. Oh. <laughs> so fuck your crazy shit. I know the person who's you spray with, kid, because like your heroin, it's all in vain if you take a hit. But we see eight's different. But we see eight's different. <laughs> so you mess with pronunciation to set off your shit. Trouble is we only see that methadone rappers when they let you get off the fix. I'm bored of this shit. See, this is for all those who said I couldn't do it. Same ones who didn't believe I could rock with Tony. Then watch me bring fire to an animal to even odds like Mowgli. You're only as good as they paint you, Jed. Still a formidable foe, but I'm hungry. Any other rapper want to be quick on your toes or catch what I owe you in the middle of soul? Fuck getting exposed. Oh. If he's come with that and you're clapping for it, that's dead. Took cheese in a trap. I'm snapping on this rat's neck. Let's get to the facts, Jed. Yeah. Let's get to the facts, Jed. I ain't done half the work, half the battles, half the words, not even half the travel, and I'm still up here making half the battles. So who's the greatest? Yeah. It's 
It's a fucking pardon. So you get no pardon. Your plan's over you, Mel. The title nicked. As soon as you get to the pen, you've got to hand over your belt. The standard procedure. So fucking hell. So judge me for my crimes. But whose name is more deserving than mine? As soon as the bars were locked, the key to your freedom was realised and you've just been serving your... Time. <laughs> Yo, my third round closer, I don't want you to show me less love. I just don't think you got what I was trying to say at the end. But I said they went twice at the fiddlers like they next up and make them think they have a chance in hell until they get one. So welcome. Mm. Don't mind the hounds at the gates. Ignore the mounds of remains and towers of flames, the pitch smoke, brimstone coming out of the lake and the sulfur shrouding your face, you come around to the taste. Mm. You hear the howls of pain from the dam, bound and restrained, now be inflated. The sound that it makes, so loud that it makes the ground start to shake. He's now in a quake, falls down through the plates, comes out in a cave, and all he thinks now is to pray. Opens his eyes and he's surrounded by grey, looks down, it's the same. Shook as hell, couldn't tell if he was pushed out or escaped. No body around him, no body around him, no foreign power or shape. Just doubts and mistakes echoing round and round in his brain. And how it would change if he was just down here again. All the hours he'd waste and how at your age a crown or a chain was his proudest of aims. He can't breathe, he's drowning in shame. He's now gone insane and can't tell if he's been here ten seconds or thousands of days. You see? <laughs> what he put himself through when he accepted this. You see hell's what he put himself through when he accepted this. Tweeting all day about how tough his prepping is. Stressing over everything, over questioning his penmanship. Purgatory's when it clicks, he's 36 and all he has left is this. Mm. My left hand pushed him there, my right hand let him live. The mm. echo was regret, he neglected shit just to prep for this. Taking breaks to sell or take care and sniff on the ends and if at the end he quits, that's when I sent him to heaven is. Now do you get it? It's literally groundbreaking. I'm not your soul son, I'm your sin and your salvation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your soul, son, I'm your sin and your salvation. Spent all this time thinking how our pens shape up. This ain't a pen versus a pen, it's a pen versus a paintbrush. Straight up. Fuck the scene, man to man. Judges, please. Mid 30s, mid 20s. How are you looking up to me? And how have you become this week? Went to Sheffield to bar out. Seen Theo and his boys. We started taking bars up. And I ain't blaming that on the scene, he ain't got a front from his fans that ought to come at his fam, he brought him up like a man, he thought he ducked from the scrap, then thought he'd won in this clash, got too much bone in his head and not enough in his back. Yeah. I ain't saying that you're weak, just that you are well rounded and you beefing when you speaking like you spark men out and then you ended up on stage doing bars then pouting, guess that's why he called the rebel, the arse fell out him. Yeah. Shit, I'm like Pesci in Casino. Fucking hell, bro. I'm like Pesci in Casino, you beat me with your hands, cool, I'll come back with a knife. If I end up with a stab wound, I'll come back with a gun. If you're the first to let the strap shoot, I'll come back with a black watch slash SWAT and a tank too. Ah! That's a metaphor, just to let you know I ain't the type of chap who you'll hear an interview saying they stripped me of my manhood. Well, you could beat me the fuck up in a fight, shucks. That's true. The difference is, you stick it on my toes, you would have to. <laughs> But if he keeps chasing titles, then he'll stay in hell. But I'm too petty for mercy, I'm a retain as well. You think I'll let his bandwagon jump in, style biting, middle-aged, obsessed, fanboy, faggot, dweeb take the belt? Then I've got two words for you, shucks. Nah, you're a champ. So you want it here, right? Poor lad. <laughs> Win or lose, bruv, I hope you listen to this verse back. You gain some perspective on battle rap before it's too late to turn back. Because this title means nothing. And you don't even deserve that. Dude, that's PS5, Soul vs. Shots, big battle right there. I thought, um, Soul's taking the first. Convincing Shots has taken the third, quite clearly for me. And it comes down to the second. And that's a real close coin flip. I'm a decisive ass nigga, but right now, I feel like that one there is close. I have to give that to Shots the Rebel. I thought he took the second round. And the second is the decisive one. So Shots has got that out of there. Let's.
crazy battle, shit. Um, I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I give it two one to shots. I think, like I said, it, it does come down to the second round, in my opinion, because um, Soul took the first, shots definitely third, and I think the second, yeah, shots just had more bars in there for me. I think um, Soul's angles were like strong, yeah, but just bar for bar, I kind of think like shots just punched that bit harder, so I give it to shots. Briggs just wants an absolute, probably the best title match I've ever seen on Gold Flop. Uh, kind of on it, even going into the Third round, um, shots had literally every two bars, the crowd were going fucking nuts on everything. I just thought, Soul took first round, shots definitely took the second round for me, and he came down to the third, and I thought shots had a lot more haymakers, a lot more hard hitting punchlines, kind of overpowered what Soul did in the third, so I gave it two one to shot. Yo, Danny Jack, I'm gonna keep it quick, I took notes and shit, and I had shots edging the first, and uh, Soul taking the second clearly, and then I had shots taking the third clearly, so I had two one shots, shots, yeah, big up. For me, it breaks down. I think you can say the shots clearly got the third, and then you can say arguably I like Soul's first one. The second is down to opinion, and I still haven't made my mind up on. Down to the punch count, I've got it that shots had more punches, so that's a two-one split and two shots, and it's all around the second, in my opinion. Uh, that was crazy, that everything came on from my battle. Great back and forth. Uh, the one I'll start with clearly, I'll say shots to the third. Soul's writing was, a, a, like his writing was incredible, intricate, but he hit with the shots had way more impact. Uh, so I'll give shots to third. I think I give shots to second as well, and I give Soul the first round, so I'm saying two punch. Um, I'm gonna keep it totally from the fire. I think um, Soul was crazy. The shots shit just had a more girl. I don't know if it's an American thing, but like, you know, some of the she was coming with, it was hard. It was just the way and the cadence and the way shots delivered his shit to me, it was a little more solid. It was a little more like, mm. And, and, and Solo had a lot of shit, but I think after shots started hitting in the first two, his third he came with like a little more like it seemed like he was punching, but his punches didn't have the same aggression. You know what I'm saying? And I think Shocks had a consistent rhythm through his whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Had a consistent stance. And um, by the way, Shocks uh, Soul's angles was crazy. That was that was a crazy angle and that. It opened my mind up honestly to the UK battle rap and I got a whole lot of respect for, for London MCs and the way I'm coming. But um, it was a blessing to see live. I think it's a classic, honestly. And um, I got shocked still. We're back for another annual checkpoint title match. If you enjoyed the battle, please make some noise, people. <laughs> One more time, the link is in the description. Please join the forum and discuss this battle. There's going to be so much discussion about it. I said previously to the battle, it was going to be highly debated. This one definitely was. There was no weak rounds. Six rounds, absolute fire. Please watch the video at the end to make sure you check who the judges felt and why they felt them. But I got the decision from my man Bagnum behind the camera. And the guy taking the title off-soul for the first time. Oh